Part 2, The Fundamental Measurements of Nature. What are the properties of nature that define how the universe works? When we think about the, the size of things, of course we tend to think of the size of things with reference to ourselves. I mean, even the units of measurement that we're familiar with. Um, so, you know, the foot or the meter, or those things, or the inch or the centimeter, what are those things? Ultimately, historically, they're based on properties of the human body. So they're based on biology, really. So, so a meter might be, you know, the, the, the length of the, this kind of length and a foot is kind of that kind of length. And, and, and that's what we did historically, because why would you do anything else? But of course, the history of physics tells us as we go into the 17th century, the 18th century, the 19th century, 20th century, we, we then begin to understand that there are things that are much bigger than us and much smaller than us. And so is the meter, for example, which is based on um, a property of the length of my arm or the length of my foot or whatever it is. Is that really, is that fundamental? Is that something that tells us